What's going on guys? This is Kazi. Welcome to another epic video. Think of your favorite movie or a TV show and I almost guarantee you that they were using a LUT. Um, there are different types of LUTs. Not all LUTs are created equal. On my channel, most of the time I tell you LUTs are bad, but it depends where you get your LUTs from. Think of Joker, John Wick, Tenet, Peaky Blinders. All these looks came from a LUT. That is also known as a show LUT. So Jill for Joker said that she worked with Lauren Scher, who was the cinematographer on Joker, and then they cooked up a LUT before they even started filming. So then he put in that custom 3D LUT into his camera when he was filming it. It helped them with lighting and all those things. That doesn't mean that once you slap on a LUT, you're done. Like you don't need to do anything else, but it is the look DNA. It is the foundation of what the final look is going to be. Now, the purpose of this tutorial is not to do a look recreation. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create film looks inside DaVinci Resolve. Before we even jump in, I want to take a moment and tell you two days left to sign up for my masterclass with a special offer. It's the ultimate roadmap that takes you through every step of the color grading process. The masterclass contains 25 hours of lessons, 150 plus videos, almost 100 gigs worth of professionally shot footage for you to practice with, free LUTs and power grades, 30% off on any film convert products, and you get free access to the mastermind group where we hold weekly competitions. You get tailor-made feedback and a chance to win a thousand dollar cash cash prize. Click the link and sign up right now. Enrollment ends soon and I will see you in the master class. If you're enjoying the content, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Let's roll the intro. So get very excited because today you're going to pick up something that's genuinely going to change the way you work inside DaVinci Resolve. And it's going to be pretty simple, but extremely effective. And hopefully there's going to be some light bulb going off moments that are going to happen here. So there's going to be three different shots that I'm going to grade, but I'm going to start off with this one. So let's pick our hero frame. Let's park it somewhere over here. Okay. So I'm going to park it somewhere around here. Now, as always, let's build out our node tree and then we're going to go attack this. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward three node grade. This is what I was talking about. Like what you're going to be picking up here is going to be pretty interesting. First node, I'm going to call this my temp tint. So this is my temp tint. Uh, next one is going to be my primaries. Okay. And that is going to be my film LUT. Okay, film print emulation. So let's park it again. Let's park it somewhere around here. That's fine. So the LUT that we're going to be using, when you have free version or the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, when you go under LUTs, you're going to find this folder called Film Looks. And these come with DaVinci Resolve. Okay, I didn't install these separately. So the one that we're going to be using is the popular 2383. And I'm going to use the D60, which is the uh, middle version of that LUT. So as soon as I apply it, if I do before and after, you can already see that it looks like a film look. Uh, so we're almost there, but let's just jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to crank my saturation. Um, I'm just going to go all the way. I'm going to crank it all the way because we start to see a lot of separation in our image, right? So if I do before and after, just look at it. So guys, come on. We got here in seconds. Just look at this look. We had, this is a C-Log2 shot on C200 uh, footage in 10-bit. And I just brought it in, dropped in my film LUT, and then added saturation. And this is where we stand right now. So now I can leave it here and we can be just ready to go. But in here, I'm going to do temp and tint. So I'm going to go under my temperature and I'm going to mess around with it a little bit to see what I want from it. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit and then I'm going to go under my tint and I'm going to add a little bit of green. Just try to give it like a little bit of a film look. So I'm not going to push it too much. Something like that. And if I do before and after, to be honest with you, it's like we're not, if we want to exaggerate it to like really see what we can do, we can. Just to like kind of push it to make a point. But I like a little bit of green in my looks, to be honest with you. 
So you can have it the way you want. But I mean, a lot of the film looks have like a pretty heavy green. So I'm going to keep mine somewhere around here. So this is what we had and this is where we ended up. But this to me looks like a really nice film look. And if I do before and after where we started to where we ended up and how fast that happened and just look at the film contrast that this film print emulation creates and all that. Now, the interesting part is I go to this next shot. I just bring the other grade on and obviously I'm going to go under my sizing and I'm going to undo that. But I just brought that grade in, right? And we are already looking really good. I mean, this is a film look. So all I have to do here is this to me is looking a bit too red. So I'm going to go under my temp and tint and I'm going to cool it off a little bit. Not too much, right? So I'm going to park it somewhere around here and then I'm going to go into my I'm going to go under my tint and I'm going to add a little bit more green. Again, not too much. I'm going to take out more uh, red and I'm going to park it somewhere around here. I still want the sodium vapor light to come in. And then I'm going to go in my tint and I'm going to add a bit more green. And again, I'm going to overdo it and then kind of just bring it back to where it looks good to me. And if I go before and after, so this is, you know, we made a little bit of difference. But guys, again, just look at this soft look that we created. And all we had to do is just copy that grade. So the point that I'm trying to make is that once you work like this, you can copy paste your looks and they will be applicable majority of the way. And you're just going to have to make a few changes. I mean, look at how much it cleaned up everything. Look at what our street light looks like. And it has a nice bloom. All of that happened so fast, so easily. So now let's apply the same look onto this and let's park it on our hero frame. And I'm going to go under my sizing and I'm going to crank it up a little bit, something like that. And now we applied that look, right? So if I do before and after, again, tell me this is not a look that you have seen already in a movie. So it has that typical green that, you know, we see in Hollywood movies. It has the perfect skin tones and all that stuff that's going on in here. Now what I can do is I can go under my primaries and go, all right, let's go. Let's ease off on the saturation a little bit. So I'm like really just pulling back my saturation. Right. And I can go. Maybe, maybe leave it somewhere around here. Right. And now if I do before and after. I mean, just look at what we're creating and how easily we are creating these looks. And guys, this is what I meant by what you're going to pick up from this tutorial. Hopefully it's going to be a eureka moment for you. And uh, this is how easy it is to create film looks inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's check out the final looks in full screen. Guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, take that and literally multiply it by 167 because this is how many lessons I have in my masterclass and I'm adding new lessons every day. You should definitely become part of this community that we have in our masterclass. Check out the link. It's in the description. What's the worst that's going to happen? Just click on the link, go through it, deep dive a little bit, understand for yourself what's included in this masterclass. Join if it hits the spot for you. And on that note, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness, and I will see you in the next video.